A 17-year-old is in custody right now after a 14-year-old from Albany died in a crash on 890 in Colony over the weekend. News 10 ABC's Zion Takoto breaks down the charges that the driver is now facing and whether they should have been behind the wheel in the first place. A late night drive under the influence leaves one teenager dead while another faces charges. The tragic crash that occurred last Saturday night just after 11 p.m. killed 14-year-old Amon Willis. Construction crews seen today repairing highway damage left from the accident. Police say the 17-year-old suspect who was under the influence was driving eastbound at high speeds when they lost control of the vehicle and it rolled over and impacted a vehicle in the westbound lane. Three other teenagers in the vehicle were treated for non-life-threatening injuries. The westbound driver was also treated. Resulting from the fatal accident, the 17-year-old was charged with aggravated vehicular homicide, assault in the second degree, driving while ability impaired by the combined influence of drugs or alcohol, and vehicular and traffic law violation. Attorney Ryan McCall from local firm Tully Rinky, who is not representing anyone in this case, says Albany County is one of the most severe regions in the state for vehicular offenses. For aggravated vehicular homicide, which carries a charge of approximately 15 years, in addition to assault, which can range from approximately a seven-year sentence. The late night crash is raising the question of teen driving laws. When and with whom is a licensed minor allowed to be driving? According to the DMV, if you have a junior license, you can drive without supervision from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. Only one passenger under 21 is allowed in the vehicle unless riders are members of your immediate family. The defendant in this case is 17, making them eligible for a senior's driver's license if they've had a junior's license or have completed a high school or driver's ed course. The suspect was arraigned at the Cahoe City Court and was remanded to the Oneida Correctional Facility. The investigation is ongoing. Reporting from the Albany Schenectady County Line, Zion Dakota News 10, ABC.